Welcome back everyone. This is our gold review for the 31st of August. Enjoy the report. Gold prices maintained the upward momentum formed in the previous week and managed to remain at high levels in the most recent sessions. Gold has come a long way to reverse the red territory it had dropped to at the beginning of August, thus the rebound is even more significant. This report aims to detail some of the most important fundamentals and economic events that could impact gold's price at the moment. On a different note, technical information on gold's price action is also to be provided at the end. During the past week, the weakness of the US dollar was evident as the greenback basically lost ground against all its major counterparts except the JPY. The weaker dollar index places upward pressure on gold's prices as the negative correlation the two instruments tend to keep comes into play. The USD's weakness, which seems to persist in the current week also, could be derived from various aspects at this point. First is the fact that COVID-19 cases had surged in various parts of the world in the previous weeks, once again intensifying worries over possible health and consequently economic difficulties. The virus remains a considerable threat to the robust economic recovery achieved so far, and this was reiterated during Fed Chair Jerome Powell's speech in the Jackson Hole Summit last week. Nevertheless, Jerome Powell also confirmed that economic recovery has been drastic, with the economic environment in the U.S. improving substantially compared to the same time last year. At the moment, inflationary pressures remain elevated, a fact that the Fed chairman and other Fed officials seem to believe are temporary. Additionally, supply bottlenecks tend to persist currently, possibly pushing inflation even higher. In our view, the most appropriate trading instrument in a high inflation environment is gold, which seems to be positively correlated to higher prices. Finally, Powell stated that the bank could start tapering its QE program by the end of the year, easing market worries for a quicker tightening of the Fed's monetary policy. Moreover, military tensions in Afghanistan can also be motivating investors to turn towards gold at the moment. The back and forth between the U.S. and the Taliban may seem attractive for the safe haven metal as traders may use it to shield against the market downturn. On a separate note, the risk on sentiment currently driving the major U.S. stock markets higher and higher could also be creating a bullish appetite for the fast-moving bullion. Gold tends to appreciate in circumstances of a risk on sentiment, and the stock market reaction so far seems to be a solid indicator of investor intentions. Finally, the economic releases in the days ahead can be used by traders as guidance for the gold's price action direction. Starting on the 1st of September, we get the ISM manufacturing PMI for August. On Thursday the 2nd, we get the weekly initial jobless claims figure and the U.S. factory orders for July. On Friday the 3rd, we get the much-anticipated U.S. employment report for August. Traders are expected to be locked in for this one as results have traditionally created immense market volatility and the effect can be filtered through gold's price. Also on Friday, we get the ISM non-manufacturing PMI figure for August. Moving now to our technical analysis, please note this is gold's 4-hour chart. During the past weeks, gold's trend has been steadily upwards, while the trend is highlighted on our chart with a blue ascending line. In the most recent sessions, we have seen the price action moving towards the S1 1807.30 support. This level has been previously recognized by traders as it was used as a resistance. However, if a correction lower prevails, then the S1 could be breached, making way for the S2 1791.95 line to come into play. In a more extensive selling trend, the S3 1775.50 can also be tested. Yet, if the current bullish momentum is further extended, then the R1 1830 resistance could become the first target for traders. A possible breach above it would signal a new monthly high for gold, but could also enable traders to aim higher for the R2 1854.45. At the top, the R3 1862.35 represents the highest level since mid-June. The RSI indicator below our chart has tested the 70 level various times in the past weeks, implying some bullish tendencies persist for the metal. Overall, and from our point of view, we tend to keep a bullish outlook for gold. Thank you very much for your time and focus. We appreciate your participation and if you like this video, please feel free to share and subscribe. 
Please note, as an effort to support traders on as many fronts as possible, we are now presenting live weekly webinars on trending subjects and all our subscribers are welcome to participate. From everyone here at IronFX, wishes for solid trading.